Okay, so what if um, I just say I got this question from an advanced spiritual seeker? What if um, I'll interpret it in my own way, just to give context? What if one is so blissed out in the silence, in the stillness, that uh, in the presence of relatives who are trying to speak, there's an incapacity to speak, or even um, it seems unnecessary to speak to them, even when they're asking questions or prodding? I think um, with this, I would say it's a matter of um, spiritual discernment, uh, which happens at the level of um, silence or in, in, intuitiveness beyond, before, beyond or before thought, the existence of thought. So usually, um, eventually it's like um, words will come, or um, I think with this thing, as one goes into deeper states of profound silence uh, the capacity to one of the things is if you go into too much of a state of profound bliss and silence uh, it's true there is an incapacity to actually uh, speak because the vibration is so high that identifying with thoughts and or with a voice or anything of this world is just on a different vibratory level you know so uh, what usually happens i think is a kind of a a capacity in some to, um, I would say, at the level of intuition to switch down the gear from being, you know, totally blissed out in silence, just sufficiently enough identified. So yeah, we can use the word identified or tracked so that some cryptic communications can be given from a lower vibration, like, hey, you know, um, uh, usually not many words unless one starts identifying and tracking more and coming back into this world to communicate more on the level that others seem to be identified with. So, <clears throat> but usually uh, if one keeps going deeper into the infinite, um, you know, something will happen with relatives where communications will eventually occur and a new, um, a new relationship, shall we say, uh, will occur where they'll get a, you know, like an understanding, oh, yes, this person doesn't speak much. They just sort of nod and, and sort of smile at me most of the time. And that, and that's like, and, you know, and once they, um, so they're probably in the process of letting go of their old identifications of what they think you might be. Uh, and, and hopefully they should come to terms eventually with the, the new thing. Usually, um, if there's something there, um, uh, it's hard to describe it. If one is in silence and it seems that something needs to be said, uh, usually in the early days, the capacity to actually speak and respond as if you were more at the level of others uh, can develop. So that often develops with uh, spiritual teachers so that the, um, something is able to communicate even though a higher vibrations remain, which seems like a paradox, but sometimes that does occur. And some of the spiritual teachers that still uh, are witnessing a body, some of them become more like um, recluses. So like in India, you'd get people um, that would just stay in their attic, but ha somehow uh, the universe would provide them with spiritual seekers from all around the world. They would just stay in their attic and, and just try and have dialogues of the infinite so it doesn't really matter whether you do nothing or even say nothing sometimes um, because um, the transmission is um, um, the transmission is uh, through silence actually uh, even though while people are at lower vibrations um, they may or may not find words useful but it's pointing to something deeper than the words but with family I would just say um, uh, if it's new, if one is going into stillness, there, there is a transitory process where they need to adjust uh, that the uh, their old projections of what you are. And sometimes um, there can be eventually in a, a, a capacity, even though one is staying in deeper levels of consciousness to give cryptic communications to sort of um, uh, to sort of uh, allow closure. Uh, for others, for other family members to see that one is now relating in a different way than the, the usual projections they had of what you were before. So some kind of 
eventually some kind of harmony and resolution does come forth um with that but um uh what would i say i mean it's like um usually even if one uh, say there was a communication it feels like one should transcend but then one forgets to transcend or doesn't transcend and just goes into the silence that is a that is transcendence because as you let go of the story um, the next time the family member comes usually something positive would have happened because it's in dropping the story uh, just with as with the story of dr hugh len in dropping it's dropping it's basically in dropping the personal story that was held is also clearing the story out of them as well so just by dropping it and dropping it um the capacity to stay in those deeper levels of consciousness silence but it's also transforming the family members so the next time there's a meeting there may be some profound difference in them or they may have a capacity to be able to see things differently because when one clears the story of family in oneself it also has uh, an effect in in others as well so the cl all clearing work is um, profound uh, and is actually all clearing work helps clear the collective the collective limiting ideas that are uh, floating around in the collective consciousness of uh, humanity um and uh was there something else on that yeah so i think i think that's that's that